Karen's writing a book. Yeah. Karen's writing a book. <laughs> and I also suggested back to our work quickly that we sell our books, our the leftover books that we do have it in our art here in the dining room space. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, exactly. The only books that are left are the small ones, just FYI. That's which is fine. So, yeah. That's, okay. Do you know how, about how many we have left in the book? A little box. It's maybe 20 or so. Oh, oh that's not that's a lot. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad we have it. Sorry, I'm going to get started on that book <laughs> She's gonna have a twitch. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Yes, yeah. she's twitching. You just you can't, can't see it. To the museum and, and um, you know, I've got, I've got a whole bunch of these. Okay. Do we have to go into future restoration and preservation today? No. Except my only question about that is, should that be under future agenda items, just uh -huh. in general? Yes. Well, it was, and then we wanted to move it. But yeah, I, I think know. we put it back in. Tell you what, is there while. anything we need to submit? Mm -hmm. Budget-wise, for next year, between now and the end of the year, yeah, but, between now and the end. Of the year. Uh, no, the idea was that we just submitted the repointing purposefully so that maybe it would get approved. CIP, right? Yeah, that's just CIP. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But there so, are and things most of the that, other projects that we've talked about that have been on that sheet mm -hmm. and included in the packet here and there in the last couple months are mm -hmm. things that could be um, PD one PDF one forty five or even just okay. like pay for outright from the fund. Uh -huh. I think the big project that we're talking about is this and, and questers. Right. Two different chapters of questers looking at helping to it's, it's, to do that and they're state waiting state. on a quote well, which okay. someone one of you all I think had um, a furniture restoration person Nukes. contact Nukes restoration noose right. K N U T is he still yeah Nukes. Used to be out on the county line road. Yeah. And, okay. And I remember going in there talking with him about some stuff, but he sold that property. He sold their property. Yes. Oh, so they knew so I don't know if he's still is that still going. I don't know. That's I'm the whole that is getting a quote for this. Oh. So that Questers knows how much they need to raise. Can we? Um, but that's one of the items on the list. So may I suggest that we move the future restoration preservation so that we can be discussing and really diving into more of that stuff either into september or october's agenda would that be timely well it's to address here. oh i know but what we're saying is we're not going to be um, we're, we're, like, we're not likely going to be talking too much about uh, this um the rest of this meeting or potentially right. next meeting so what so i'm could thinking we move is it to realistically can we move it to the September or October agenda. Yeah, I guess I would like to know exactly what you want to discuss about it because it's been off and on included with the list that's updated of where we're at and then, you know, open for discussion and nothing's really been. So I'm wondering, like, action item wise, what you would action like item to do. Is what, it. well, action item would be for the board to actually be looking at it and saying, okay, let's tackle this next. Okay, what is it going to take to complete that? And then take action on that. Okay. Okay. So then, if it gets included again, then let's do that because it's just been included off and on the last number of months. The list is out there. there. Yeah. But but we actually need to we're not have a full-on discussion yeah. and say this is the item we're tackling, or these are the two items on this list we're tackling. Right. right. And here's how we're okay. doing it. And here's so the future we're for doing. September or October. What yeah. Probably the agenda. The old business or or a new business. Let's put it in new business for October's um, agenda. I think that, that. Well, so we're keeping on the agenda. If it's going to be discussed in October, it should be under future agenda items. Correct. Right. And slash. But, but put in parentheses uh, to the October. outside of it. October. Because you know that that's when it, yeah. th that's, that's technically future agenda items are the things that are on deck. Yeah. Right. And if you put in parentheses out to the side of it, which one, one month it's going to go into right. every business, yeah. Yeah. that's what this is intended for. So yeah. let's do yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, it's been getting shuffled around. So, so future uh, restoration and preservation will be discussed and action will be had in the October. Okay. 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 And I need to contact somebody. Uh, if he is no longer in existence, our next reference would be to contact somebody with from the Colorado. Wouldn't it be from the Colorado um, Historic Historical Society? Might have some preservation things. that would have a already asked restoration. That, but I'll double check. Do you, yeah. I would kind of write a lot of stuff by Anne. Yeah, Anne. Do you have a thought for this? And I, so let me look if I already asked her. She, she hasn't blocked you yet, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's magically. Yeah. <laughs> She's great. Yeah. 
So, okay, great. Yeah. All right, we're going to move on to what's not on the agenda, which is the piano. Yes. Um, it was supposed to be taken last week, as you can see, it's still here. But um, Fred obviously has the name, he's been working on it, he sent me a couple photos just to say, hey, everything's going great, it's a beautiful piece, he's really excited for us to have it. Um, it's still being worked on. This is supposed to be leaving the Callan House tomorrow. Okay, so. Oh, good. Good, good, good. We'll see. Um, yeah, the folks that, that won it in the um, auction had it sent through last week or whatever. They, they were prepared to take it, but they are supposed to be coming tomorrow. So okay. hopefully right. it will be gone by the next time you're here. Excellent. Um, well, that's I'm just what we care about. Yay. Yeah, it's going uh, to some that's, from that's, staff. Yeah. That's and apparently yeah. they're like a we added piano family. family. Okay. family. They have okay. multiple. I think isn't that you can like do that? Well, I, I, family family family. <laughs> so. I think that that's 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 that is it under new business because it was more of a you were moving it back onto the agenda and yeah, and it just kind of felt weird. It's an old business. Yeah. As as motioned by the last meeting and then oh. we're, we're talking about that we amended the agenda after, after we had already it. approved the agenda so piano's under so old business, business. It's under old business. Okay. yeah and okay. we'll just stay there until this one is gone and the maid is back huh? yeah okay we're on the new one yeah, yeah. We're leaving it there now. yeah. Um, okay no arguments good 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 um we're moving on to new business i have none listed yeah uh -uh. Quick, um, let's get out of there so we yeah. can find something. <laughs> items from staff. Um, I have some things. Um, so it's brought to my attention that the WIC by, who was it? Uh, Elizabeth at the museum, um, that the Wikipedia page could use some updating. Um, I don't mean to put more on your plate, Karen, but I wondered if while you're working on the, because I think you've been reviewing the website, yes, the, the Callahan City website, all of the content for the accuracy. Yeah, and maybe after that is done, or we can just like take that whole chunk and submit it to Wikipedia. Um, but something just kind of in conjunction with this that you're working on is mindful of afterwards submitting okay. that information to Wikipedia so that that page could be accurate as well. Okay. Um, check that content. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's overwhelming. Um, it is overwhelming. The other thing, so I've been working on trying to get, as um, I was informed that over the last number of years we've had the floor, the parquet floors waxed every few years um, or whatever. So I've been having trouble finding somebody that will actually wax them. But I did find someone that's going to be cleaning the carpets and doing tile and the upholstery. Um, and they have somebody that does like floor restoration that's done in historic buildings. Um, I don't know if we wanted to have the parquet, basically they would lightly sand it and restore it to, you know, its original look. Um, if we're interested in that or if we want to continue to wax it and, you know, the wax basically is just kind of going to keep building up these shiny layers and sealing everything in that's there. Um, but we, like the chips and whatnot could can we potentially put that, be restored. Well, nothing is in need of, of repair or anything in right. the next couple of months, right? right. No. Can we include that on the future restoration and preservation? Yes. Yeah. And it's something to think about if there's a discussion about it. Why yeah. to do that? And is that going to include the floors that are covered by carpet upstairs? It, well, the ones that of the carpets that can be removed, yes, but. I don't know if there's, there's like the carpet parquet really underneath no, carpet. this. There is. There is. That's there what is. I'm saying. The oh, there's yeah. carpet upstairs. So I don't know that. Well, that would be don't want to do that. Unless you're I guess it's so over for discussion. Again, again let's, let's put our discussion about this in detail okay. more, but put it on the future restoration preservation list. Okay. And, and Brittany, I'm just letting you be aware of that it's not there. Yeah, no, it is here. So it was a ballroom. No, I know it wasn't, but I keep referring to it as the ballroom, and then it doesn't yeah. go over because it's carpeted, but like, we're yeah. carpeted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so actually. Yeah. It has pictures of it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, it's a discussion. Yeah. Uh, video interviews we talked about. Um, Candy, can, I guess you guys are going to be over the committee. I have some questions about the notes that you made um, for the inventory in the library, if we could chat with you. Okay. Just to clarify some things um, after Jacqueline gets here, which should be soon. 
So yeah, and speaking of which, we're still working on getting the material finalized, but it's almost there. Okay. So it'll be shared as soon as it's done. Okay. It's been a slow process, but um, but it's a process that's been occurring. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's so Josh, it's been. I was going to say you took everything that, that, which is why it's been slower. It's just not. You took awesome. everything that we all participated in and right. reviewing, and yeah. it's now it's all, all and now it's being entered into right. you know the sheet that exists, yeah. and yeah. yeah. So okay, um, that's all I have. What is the meeting where uh, you typically set your dates for Christmas decoration? Is that in the, in the fall? In the fall. Um, we have dates already set. We did that. We did do that at some point. Yeah, then they're already set for yeah. the Santa and the not that, but what well, the, the board comes. To oh, that. decorating. Yeah, is that a later? That's a good point. Um, we normally do it in August, September. Do we know? Yeah, okay. just set dates. We're not set the dates. Okay, yeah. let's we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and have that as we discuss. Not so the date set the board to our decorating day? I thought we already said our decorating, our decorating day. Huh? I didn't think it we used to be done before right. Santa, right. Santa comes. So, so it's it's like Santa already, already lined up. Maybe you know I could review the calendar. I, I yeah. might suggest like reviewing prior minutes, prior meeting minutes, because I think that we already said that. We'll just look on the calendar and see if it's on. There. I thought yeah. we just set Santa. Yeah, but we had to. We, we, I remember us talking about, okay, we've got to get the house. I'll okay, look on the calendar and see if there's yes. anything. And if not, then we'll put it on the new business for next month. Okay. And while setting that, do you need help removing the decorations too? That'd be Jane. Uh, no, thank you. Appreciate that. Jacqueline has a very specific way of getting them all back in order, and it makes it very easy. And she does. It's better to leave it um, yeah. to her if that's okay. And then we'll take yeah. care of it just rather than later. Yeah. Um, um, that's all I have from staff. Yeah, anything, Kristen, from the city? Nope, not at this moment. Great. Um, um, anything else? I had a question for Brittany. Okay. Um, I brought back the marker for Dave's tree that's out in the okay. garden. Yes. And so I was just going to ask her if it's okay to put it back in the garden. It's in the closet in the office. Oh, yeah. Anything else, anybody? I'm just going to ask about um, the calendar. Okay, sure. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, she got out of the right time. Thank you. Okay. I'm just getting you an AD. Can you do a quick one more review about the Callahan House Fund? Because I, I see the chart here and how um, we've oh, got yeah. from May and June. I forgot that was in there. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> I thought that was in there. Yeah, we have the beginning fund balance, then total revenue added, um, and then general fund contribution and total expenses, and then the ending fund balance. Yeah. So we talked about in April, I think, that we were going to, um, you wanted this revamped a little bit to reflect the, what the year end. Um, financials look like it was submit for the board report to council. Mm -hmm. So I changed this bottom section to reflect to that. Um, I actually got these numbers directly from Sandra Sequentes, who had well just changed, but um, she's in accounting um, and helped me fill in these numbers and mentioned that um, the reason that, like, from let's say the end of May the ending fund balance is not the same as it is the beginning of June. It's because these are year to date totals. Um, and I have not any great shapes with financials, so you'll have to excuse my <laughs> probably <laughs> an explanation of it. Um, but it's because it because we're looking at it year to date, they don't usually track these numbers month to month. So it was kind of what she could put together based on spending and then what is still in the house fund going for next month. I know it's not a great explanation, but she put together these numbers, so they're going to be much more accurate than what I could <laughs> put together. Up with, yeah, yeah, because the, the way that the fund gets it's, I think, it's, accounted for on a regular basis is not necessarily reflective of each month, and I don't have access to see it in that way. So. That's where these numbers came from. Her name is Sandra. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But not what was actually added. But the ending fund balance from month to month is accurate? Well, it's not that these aren't accurate, but it's just because we're looking at a year to date right. situation, and that's not necessarily how the fund is accounted for. It was 
that's why they're maybe a little funky. I don't know. That's the best explanation that I have. But yeah, so this is kind of to give you, they will give you an overview from month to month. Just to Maybe you could, you know, I'm trying you to could, this, you could you could state that one. in that line how has has any fund budget year to date. But that's that's year to date. It says up above. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Year to date. Year to date. Year to date. So you can see there's been a change, for example, from May to June. There's no explanation for what that is, but there, but the ending fund balance in June is ninety thousand nine seventy. Well, and I mean, it, it does right. that every month. The right it changes. Mm -hmm. right. It fluctuates. Yeah. It fluctuates. So in April, May, and June, the beginning fund balance is the same. Right. Um, and then the ending numbers are different based on what's been used out of the fund. Exactly. Which is like the PB1, PBF, anything like PBF 145 right. steps, for example. Um, so that's why, like, the beginning is the same because the fund doesn't get yeah. allocated month to month. Right. In the way that we're asking it to be seen here, but that's why the, the ending totals are, are different. Different. And we're not. Are, are, are we concerned, or do we have any concern about the, the revenue being less than the expenses per month, um, April, May, and June? Well, there's been some expectation of that this year, based on six months of not being marketed for weddings and or more than six months not being marketed for weddings and some things like that so i think there has been kind of some expectation of that this year but the fund then also gets used to kind of fill in those gaps for the end of the year budget okay I think so it it's like so things can get reallocated at the end of the year to fill in where is needed if expenses were more in certain areas of revenue I think we understand that. I think that I think the bottom line is where our concern is, or at least where my concern is, that this shows to me in particular that we need to come up with like a fundraising aspect to cover the difference. So we are potentially, I mean, of course, that never hurts. Um, but so we're, years, we're kind of trying to look at like a section of the year right now without the year being over because of the way that these funds get allocated at the end of each year. And there's money that's been budgeted in the expense account that is to be used for expenses, not yeah. counting the revenue in. That has not you know, been used yet in, in a lot of areas. So it's kind of, it's it's like taking a piece of the puzzle and trying to evaluate it from here. But because mostly these financials are a year. Yeah, year I, I know we're you. only seeing a very small picture. Yeah. But I guess that's part of the reason why we requested this is in the first place right. is that so then we can say, all right, so recognizing that the house hasn't been um, set forth for or marketed for weddings and whatnot, then we as maybe as board need to come in and fill in and do or uh, sip a wine or whatever fund, fundraiser. This is where we could kick in and possibly have the musician come in and, and to talk about, um, to fill in where um, we have a lack of revenue. That's yeah, I mean, a fundraiser is always welcome. Yeah. But, you know, well, in, in any year, so. I think regarding operations, that should be just in the city budget for the Calvin House, designated for the, the operational expenses of the house. That what salaries be. or whatever the city has out allocated yeah. in the budget. Which and is, maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that is that in the city's budget? Well, that's what the operational, house, like okay. this the general fund, fund contribution okay. is that. That's oh, what that is. Okay. That's what the yeah. city so, gives us. So that's right. the contribution right. coming from the fund okay. into the Callahan budget each okay. month to cover those type of expenses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just wanted to make sure we weren't commingling because the purpose of the Callahan House Fund was to, it was it was created by the city in 1995 and for the sole purpose of having a fund that is specific to support the Callahan House and, and particularly for the historic upkeep of it, knowing that um, all of the revenues from the revenue generating events and all of the fundraising would go into that fund to support those efforts. Yeah. So I want to make sure that um, it's transparent that no one is, we're not dipping into those funds to be um, providing for operational expenses that should already be in operational budget for that time. 
Right. The budget's broken down into line items as well. So there's project strings. It's not just like a pot of money that she pulls from. It's broken down and allocated specific, specifically for certain things. More than just this ninety thousand dollars. Right. Right. Yeah. We're so there's detailed. you know, there's the, the budget that is given by the city. Um, you know, via yeah, it's where all this money comes from. But like you're saying, each line item, here's how much we have to spend on professional contracted services this year. That's like our biggest budget, right? So, but the fund, and again, this is from my understanding, and it's been kind of confusing to all of us, but um, any money that is extra that the Callahan makes each year goes into that fund, and then there's an allocation each month for those type of expenses that you mentioned. Um, it's like salary and staffing costs and things like that that come in from the fund and an additional money that's made at the end of the year goes back into that so it's the fund is sort of the overall Callahan budget because we're on our own budget but there are the line items that are allocated for each thing coming from the city and the fund is like another source that however they allocate it for those certain things or to cover areas that we need extra money for, like PD 145. Okay. I may not be explaining this okay, correctly, because to the because best of my to, understanding. To me, salary isn't supposed to be coming out of fund. No, no, no. no not the Callahan. Well, and so the, so the Callahan House Fund, like you're thinking of it as this like donation fund, how they refer to it here is that it's basically like the full budget for Callahan House. So there is that a makes sense. more detailed breakdown of that full budget of Calvin House that incorporates the, the, the fund is Calvin the budget. House. That's what I'm yeah. The fund is listed as the it budget. It would be helpful yeah. to see that detailed list, that detailed budget, just a list, not not even numbers. Oh, of which of like what items, everything is out of for list. Just just it would be just helpful. The general to budget see. of what's allocated okay. each year. for the Calvin House. Here's what city. You know, city identifies the name of this line item as well, operations, whatever. You know, the line, the, the itemized list but of the. I, I don't think you know, wonder if like would be helpful to see. Report that Sandra sends monthly. A little snippet, but that she sends to you and Jeff. And I would just like to include in this would be. What do, well, I guess my is, question is, what is it helpful for? Yeah, I think like what else? What is it going to help you? Well, a, it's know what salary is coming out of. A, it's transparency. This is public. Um, um, B, it does help us to um, confirm that yes, these funds that have been fundraised and and put into the Callahan House are earmarked for those items that are meant to be restored and preserved and that we can tell our donors that so indeed the, the funds that they are providing yeah. to the city for the benefit of the Callahan House through the donor program are indeed for historic restoration and preservation and not any other not paying for the land. I don't think yeah. the fund is is set up separately like that. I think it just represents the general budget of Callahan House. Well, in and that's how we are in the plus to have our own budget that's just for Callahan House and not under like an umbrella, an umbrella of another department. Well, this is where so the Callahan House help fund having some yeah, help from the city council yeah. as well as far as well. I understand your point there that uh, you're trying to make sure that they that it's very clear to donors and, and that and I and I. I just think that uh, probably if you're if you have earmarked dollars that have been donated specifically to preservation, there's probably no loss in, in having that so that uh, uh, donors can see that if they have, give a thousand dollars in your example of of the uh, patrons um, mm -hmm. uh, aspect that uh, that shows up on the that side of the balance uh, sheet. Yeah, because yeah. there's there's a donation, you know, like a GL account that's where donations are going into. So we can go in and see specifically how many mm -hmm. donations have been made this year. But that, along with all other revenue that we generate, goes into the Callahan House Fund. So like the House yes. Fund is basically our budget, and it's what allows us to have a separate budget as just Callahan House instead of like 
for example, under the recreation budget. Mm -hmm. So the fund is, is what allows us for all of our operating to go to us instead of more generally through the city. But it's there, it's the fund does not only represent donations, for example, but donations go into the fund. And that's why the operations go into the fund that was established for that. So so right. essentially, yeah. The yeah, operational it's mode. the operating it's, budget it's for into the house. House. And and see, So it is an I am a, yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm. Having the list would still be helpful. Just just you just wanted to see the bu the budget basically? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I think once a year or maybe. maybe well once a I think what that's a I think what's going on is you're asking for information in a quarterly example that doesn't get allocated. Month to month or quarterly, so that's the problem. Is like the information it that you want period. doesn't yeah. translate into the time period in which you right. want it. So I think what might be good to do is I, I get um, Kristen and, and Jeff Fraser and I get like a little report from Sandra monthly pertaining to the Callahan budget. So maybe just those three months get included in this quarterly as we're still doing, so you can see that information. It's not going to be as detailed about the house fund, but again, the house fund is a budget. So I think she, I think there's a line at the end that just says like, either where the fund was at or how much was contributed to the fund at that point. So we can try that and see if that, that information is satisfying what you're That's wanting to see, see in the time period that you're wanting to see it. Yeah. It might translate better. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, are there any other questions or comments? Oh, I will entertain a motion for adjournment. I move that we adjourn. It is 11.33. I second that. Thank you. Anybody opposed? <laughs>